Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we have five tarot decks here and we are doing the reading. What can we expect in terms of our financial well-being, in terms of our career um, and anything else that is material related in the year 2023? And I must apologize because it's taken me so long to upload these videos. However, um, I hope that you will still enjoy it. The um, the videos go into a lot of detail for what happens during the year as far as love is concerned, as well as the general reading. And then this one with regard to the financial aspect uh, of your life. And so you can always come back to the reading at a later point in the year and check in with it and see whether it was accurate or not. And so it's option one, two, three, four and five. And let's get started. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we are asking, what can we expect as far as our finances and our career is concerned in 2023? So for this reading, I am not going to take out a card for every month. Instead, I'm looking at the quarters and uh, what can we expect? So it would be January, February, March, April, May, and June, July, August, September, October, November and December. And of course, if we need more cards for clarification, we'll pull them out. The reason this has two cards is because they both came out and it felt like it was correct. OK, so let's look at the first quarter of the year. The Four of Pentacles is often a card where you feel like um, well, it's often misrepresented. So it's often seen as being the Scrooge card or being a bit uh, stingy or not wanting to share. But in fact, what it is, is the card that asks you to take care of your own before you can take care of others. So make sure that you have enough of your own. Be responsible. Make sure you've paid your bills. Make sure you've saved some money. Make sure you are looked after before you can actually uh, commit acts of charity. And in this case, the card is reversed. And what I would say is that there are a couple of options for, for that uh, card in reverse. The first is that perhaps you're not saving enough or perhaps you're not being as diligent or as cautious as you need to be with regard to that. But if you are, and if you feel that you are, then I would say that the meaning of this is that perhaps you're doing it for the wrong reason. OK, so the reason that you should be doing this is for the love of you being well and being happy and being taken care of. OK, it should not be supported by the fear of not having enough. And that's a very big difference. And that difference goes a very long way in terms of how to expand yourself and how to uh, be more abundant. Think about how that affects you and whether what and what resonates with you and ask yourself if you are motivated by fear or by worry, which comes from fear anyhow. But if you are motivated by that, is it what's holding you back? Uh, and is it going to hold you back in the first three months of this year? So I would say take the opportunity to be able to support yourself uh, with blessings by focusing the attention on you giving love and care to yourself and your family or uh, whoever you are taking care of and and make choices based on that love rather than on the fear of what may or may not happen. Um, I would also say here that there, I don't think there's anything to really be concerned about as you go through January, February and March. It feels like you have enough of what you need and it feels like you are taken care of. Now, you might think differently. You might think that it's you're not that you don't have enough. But I would suggest that you look at the situation that you're in and and look at it rationally and not from uh, an anxiety point of view. OK, so let's move on to April, May and June. And so for April, May and June, what we have here is we have the nine, uh, sorry, the 10 of cups. And we have the world card. OK, so that's really positive cards and especially that they came out together. I feel here that there's a feeling of satisfaction, of completion, of something, of having um, joy in your life and abundance in your life because you are happy, because you are content, because you have love in your life. And it feels like you could in this in these months, you could of April, May and June, it could be that you perhaps leave a job or you complete a cycle, you complete a contract, um, or you complete your studies, and it's time to move on into a new role that you have in your life. 
So it could be that, uh, yeah, it's, it could be the ending of something that is that you're happy to end and that you celebrate an ending at its completion of something. And you have the world as your oyster. You have all these opportunities that are available to you. And that is a, a very abundant and rich feeling. That's a feeling of being wealthy, that you have all these opportunities that you can take um, or you can you can engage in and it's not so much I don't see any concern about money or any anything here really about not having um, enough it feels like you are quite successful and quite accomplished and it feels like you are proud of yourself as well in this in this combination and you you have all the reason to be all right so let's move on to July uh, August and September so here we have the card of Five of Cups, which is, uh, and it's in the reverse position. And it's talking about, well, the Five of Cups is usually talking about spilt milk or, or some kind of uh, disappointment that arises from a lost opportunity, okay? Uh, or something, or perhaps you've chosen to uh, behave in a manner that did not support what you actually needed. And so you have a a regret about that but this card is in the reverse position so I don't see your, yourself regretting something like this or if you do perhaps it's very slight what I do see however is that it it's an opportunity for you to be able to re see the circumstances as they are and react differently to them so what I feel comes up here is that you I feel you still have quite a bit of this energy but in the months of July August and September it's Almost as if you uh, can see that things uh, might not be going exactly the way you want it to go, but you take a different approach to it. So instead of becoming quite upset about it and letting that uh, organize your life or your attitude towards that particular situation, it looks like you are able to see it um, and measure it to the extent that it affects your life and understand it for what it's worth and not give it any more energy. So I feel that that is part of the energy for th for those months. I just want to take some extra cards here for the months of July, August and September. And we have the High Priestess, which kind of confirms what I was saying. So it feels like, you know, as you come out of the state where you're feeling accomplished, you're feeling proud, you might have finished something successfully, uh, what you have here is that you, you're you quite disciplined in the manner in which you approach your life and your emotions. You're able to have quite a tight control over what you emote to and what you don't emote to. And the High Priestess here is the card that shows me that you are following your intuition. You have a great deal of wisdom that is supporting you right now. And that this is you. This is you making the right decisions for yourself. And there's nothing to be concerned about. So I would say that in the time of July, August and September, use your intuition to make decisions with regard to your finances and your career. Use that. Don't be, um, don't um, sweat the small stuff. Don't let don't cry over spilt milk. Don't be worried about little things. It doesn't matter. There's a bigger picture here and there's much more to be gained during this time. I don't see any real concerns regarding financial, your financial aspect. What I do see is that you have a strength that's within you right now that you might not have known that you have. Uh, and this is going to allow you to make more informed decisions and more uh, decisions which are more um, um, apt for your circumstances. And as we move into the latter part of the year, we have, uh, th so this card represents October, November and December. And we have the Seven of Cups. So here is a chance, uh, and it's reversed uh, as well. So we have the Seven of Cups reversed and here we have the Five of Cups reversed. So it's a card where I feel that it's almost like there's not really a concern. The concern about money comes just at the beginning of the year or the, the focus on money and the career comes at the beginning of the year. And then, then you have something to celebrate and then you have this wisdom that's guiding you. And so you're feeling quite secure and quite confident. And then at the end of it, what you have are many choices. 
But you might not be aware of the choices that you have. You might think that you don't have many choices. You might be restricting yourself. It might be that you have all these choices, all these ideas of what could be possible, but you have restricted yourself. You've put conditions on yourself so that you have less opportunities available to you. You've narrowed it down and you might think that that's a good thing to do. But in doing so, you have restricted your the opportunities that you have. Another way to read this is that you have been uh, perhaps fantasizing about what you could be doing or the direction in which you could be going to, but you're not taking action or a relevant action um, in that direction. So if you are at a, at a job that you perhaps don't, you're not particularly fond of, or you feel like you're not, it's not really helping you grow, you might be thinking about daydreaming about some kind of other another job or another position that you could be in or doing something else with your time. But I don't see that you have the courage at this moment to be able to make the decisions. Now, sometimes that's not a bad thing because you perhaps just need time to be able to escape into a daydream because perhaps you have stress at work and it's difficult for you to deal with that. You might just need the time to process something. And so daydreaming allows you it gives you that chance to process something, okay, which is perhaps on a more um, subconscious level. The other meaning of this card in this position is that you could be stopping yourself from progress. You could be um, stopping yourself from being able to move ahead in the way that you want to move ahead because you assume that something is false. So you could have the idea that something that's being presented to you, perhaps a job opportunity or a financial opportunity, you will have the belief that it is false or that it's uh, a hoax or not a hoax necessarily, but a scam. Maybe I think a scam is a bit too strong a word to use in this context, but it's something that's not as it seems to be. And so you have the need to be a bit more reserved in your approach to that. But I'm going to go ahead and, and ask for more cards for the, your months of October, November and December. And we have the three of swords, okay, in the upright position. So I would say that you are, have probably experienced some kind of heartbreak with regard to the situation. It might be that there is a lost opportunity or uh, perhaps it's not even that. Perhaps it's simply that you just are a bit disappointed in yourself because you've been unable to meet a deadline, uh, because you've been unable to um, promote yourself in the way that you wanted to promote yourself. Now, these cards follow on from one another. OK, that's really important to, to be aware of because you know, you have these th th these kind of successes and then it's followed by these emotions. But if you did, if you took action to resolve these these things before they began, then this these wouldn't be your cards. And so these cards wouldn't follow on from that. So I, I would say that this happens if you don't do anything through the year. But if you perhaps have worked on, the, on yourself with regard to th that and come to terms with your with whatever it is that you need to do to bring yourself back into balance and and the suggestions have been made already but um and you go through this time and you you gauge yourself so that you are not um perhaps making applications at the wrong place if it is some a place like you're applying for a job or some kind of internship or something else i would say that you you don't have to um it doesn't have to work out this way. That's what I'm trying to say. It it can be that you've changed your course of action by taking different decisions, by behaving differently. And so you have a completely different outcome. But here, I feel as if you've probably, you're probably giving yourself a hard time. I think that you might be really giving yourself a hard time. I don't think that this is as um, serious as it needs to be. I don't feel here that you are necessarily... Um, in any kind of dire straits as far as your financial uh, uh, well-being is concerned. But I do feel that there is a uh, kind of um, feeling that you have about yourself, that you have not made the right choices, that you have not um, um, taken the action when you needed to, etc. And this could be, it's some kind of erosion of your trust of yourself. So I feel that as you come to the end of the year, it might be that you almost kicking yourself for some decisions that you did not make prior uh, to this. And I would say that maybe, you know, these cards are not very much focused on your 
your material well-being. I would say that this kind of attitude that you have here, where you are thinking about your financial well-being, your material well-being, at the beginning of the year, should be carried through the rest of the year. Not in that fashion, but in a fashion that is going to make sure that you can be provided for. It could be that you've just not paid attention to things and it's kind of gone off in a different way. And so just keep 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 it in mind. Keep in mind, do your budgets. Do you make sure that you have enough of what you need? Try to cut down on your expenses if possible. Um, keep Be aware of the 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 purchases that you make um and definitely as if it's with regard to another job or um uh, well i do feel this is very much about an application of some sorts both of these sections so you could be applying for jobs or uh and here it feels like it's like you didn't apply for jobs it's like here it's almost like you are thinking that you could have applied for that but it's too late and but you're going to start applying for jobs and here it's like you haven't actually done it maybe you've gotten busy and you're you, you you just didn't have the chance to do it but there is a regret regarding that okay so i just want to ask for another card here that is gives us an overview of the year for you uh and perhaps something that you could meditate upon for the year as far as your career and your financial well-being is concerned now i just want to say also that your career sometimes doesn't have anything to do with your financial well-being and vice versa and you know but i just it's just convenient for me to talk about both of them in one reading here okay so there's two cards that um have come out and it's the hermit and the four of cups all right so there are lots of cups here in this reading uh for you and I would say that one of the things that you need to do this year is that you need to make your own individual choices with regard to your wealth and your well be your your financial well being as well as your career. You need to walk your own path, and perhaps that means not necessarily discussing it with others. Um, you need to be um, you need to find the right way for you, okay? Because the what others are doing on is not necessarily the right way for you and that i think is important in this year as you go along so if you see others kind of swimming in a particular direction just realize that that is not necessarily the way that you have to go and as for the four of cups i think it's necessary to be able to understand the the all of what you have and to feel gratitude for what you have so just always recognize what you have when you are feeling down or when you're feeling regret or when you're feeling like something as um is not as it should be or you're feeling a little less um abundant than you normally would i think then it's necessary to count your blessings because um this card is almost like you getting bored with yourself, but um, I think that I don't see you getting bored with yourself this year. What I do see is that you could be, that there is a need perhaps to count your blessings, especially at this point here and and here, at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, because it feels like you lose sight of that because you are quite concerned about other things. Okay, and um, I also want to say that um, you could kind of, be sliding into some kind of rut here at the end of the year so i would say if you can try to be as active as you can in october um november and december because whatever you are doing it could bring you it could kind of lead you into uh, some kind of loneliness or some feeling of um not being um yeah just not having the support that you need so i think take active measures to ensure that you are getting out that you're not falling into some kind of depression or some kind of rut and uh you're not letting yourself go and that you are surrounded by people who love you and care for you and and can be of support to you okay and if you you aren't surrounded by such people then take active steps to bring such people into your life perhaps you need a counselor or a social worker or something like this now i'm not predicting um mental health issues here for you i'm just saying that there could be a you know you, you you could just find yourself at the end of the year kind of sitting on the couch watching movies the the, the whole time and not actually taking action and uh and feeling that you've missed the opportunity to do so Be- um and but you do have this huge celebration here in the middle of the year and so this is something that 
you, you, you need to follow on on that. You need to take action with that so that you don't find yourself in this situation here. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that it's going to be a good year for you and wishing you many abundant blessings and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we asking what can we expect in the year of 2023 with regard to our finances? What can what is the advice that we are seeking and what can we expect for uh, our financial well-being and our career in 2023? So the way in which I'm reading these cards are for the first card here is for January, February, March, then April, May, and June, July, August, September, and October, November, and December. Okay, and if we need more cards, we'll just uh, shuffle and get them. So what can you expect for January, February, and March of 2023? And I see here that this is a great card. You have the card of work. Okay, so then you have the worker bees there, which are diligently at work so it looks like you start off the year on a good note where you are quite diligent you're quite motivated you are consistent and you are making headways um in terms of your work it also looks like you might not necessarily recognize the effort that you're putting in or no sorry let me take that back i feel like you recognize the effort that you put in but you might not see great a great difference in terms of what you're building but that is not to be uh, it's not to be scoffed upon because you are making a difference in terms of what you're doing. I'm just going to go ahead and ask for if there's anything else that you need to know for January, February, March. It, this just looks good to me. It shows me that you are prosperous, that you are earning well, that you are in a state where you're working and it's going well. It, there's no stagnancy here. There's no kind of um, um, some kind of um, something holding you back. You just are really uh in a in a place where you are moving ahead in a in a good way so here we have the the ace of earth okay so you are working on something and there might be some kind of um new start to something or a delayed new start so it's almost i feel like in your situation here it might be that you do something or you finish you know you begin something sorry you begin something that you've been putting off for a long time and that you've been meaning to do or maybe it's not like you've been putting it off but maybe you just didn't have a chance to do it because of some kind of world events or circumstances family interruptions or you know perhaps your health got in the way of it there was some reason that something that you should have begun back in the next in the last uh, perhaps two to three years hasn't actually begun and so here you are beginning this thing again and and getting off with it now it could read as a delayed beginning and i think that delayed beginning is not delayed in in march uh, in february and march in january february march but rather it is delayed uh, from uh, some time before that i also see that it's the beginning of something that is um quite magnanimous it can give you the a kind of uh, understanding of how dynamic and how huge this project or this thing that you're doing is going to be it's going to have the element of everything uh all the emotions all the the the, the different levels of prosperity and um and development that is encompassed within the pentacle or the the earth um frame and so you're going to be able to understand and appreciate all of that. And I feel that this all happens in January, February, March. And in fact, you working so hard here might be towards actually beginning that. All right. So let's go on to um, April, May and June. And here we have the devil card. OK, so the devil card here. Um, well, the devil card usually talks about indulgences or some kind of, you know, overdoing something uh, or not really being able to keep the balance, being perhaps too hedonistic or just overindulgent in some way. And um, here this card has um, some symbols which uh, refer to uh, acts which were committed that were evil. But I don't think that any of the acts that you will be committing in uh, April... May and June will be evil. I think that what's actually going on here is that um, you might find yourself 
as a result of this diligence and this effort that you've put in in the first half, uh, quarter of the year, you might find that you've um, you've you've need you need something to balance it out in terms of um, you know it just being able to create balance in your life. So if you are working like this, perhaps you need to go and work out or dance or or perhaps you are consuming alcohol or, or something like this. And it's somehow, it feels like it, it gets to be a bit much, okay? So it's like you're overcompensating for the work that's done here. It might be that you have started to burn out here towards the end of this period. And here you are taking action that um, allows you to kind of spring back to your old energy, your old worker bee energy here. But instead, you are going off the rails a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to ask for another card here for some kind of clarification. Just so I could give you more options. We have the Sun of Fire, okay? And the Sun of Fire is the equivalent of the Knight of Wands in this deck. And so what we have here is an excess, okay, in terms of the Devil card. There's an excess of energy. But what we see here with the Sun of Fire is that this excess energy and this, this drive that you have, this perhaps this competitiveness that you have now, or this huge um, motivation to be able to get something done is not necessarily something that's negative. It's something that needs to be channeled. So as you come into April, May and June, you need to work with that energy. You need to be aware of the fact that you're not as grounded as you are here, where you have your pentacles or your earth cards, which are which is keeping you quite grounded. You're quite rational. You're quite measured in your action. Although here it might be that you are um, perhaps overflowing in a way with your enthusiasm, I would say. Uh, but I still feel it's within boundaries and within control here, and it's being used in a productive manner. Whereas here, it's almost like um, a train about to go off its rails, and you have the sun of fire here, which is what you are able to control. So you are able to control yourself and able to say to yourself, okay, I have all this fire energy in me right now. I have all this drive in me right now. In which way can I use it in order for it to benefit me? Okay, and I think that you could use it in a way that's really beneficial to you. I feel like you should be quite aware of big spending in this in this time. I think you should also be quite wise and be able to truly intuit what is good for you and what isn't good for you. So if you are thinking of making an investment during this time of April, May and June, I think you need to be careful about that. I think that it's important not to waste away something that's of value. And um you could find yourself not, you know, quite drawn to doing that, but it's not really the right decision. So regardless, I think that you just need to understand that as you enter April, May, and June, you have this fire energy, you're raring to go, and you need to be able to channel that and control that in some way, although it can kind of swing out of hand. So then as we go into July, August, and September, we have the Empress reversed, okay? So this is a card where it shows me that you are somebody who's truly capable of being really successful, of being um, quite a, a good all-rounder. You're a compassionate person. You're fertile in that you uh, uh, probably are um, fertile in that you could have kids, but also that you are fertile in that you can create many things. You are the creator. This life force of creativity runs through you and is uh, expressed through your actions and I feel here that there's some kind of um, a blockage with regard to that and so this comes up for you in uh, July August and September and what you have is the opportunity to be able to overcome that now this state of being is something that you might be living with for a long time you might be living in a state where you aren't living up to your full potential because perhaps you are um, you have some insecurities about it or you're not able to uh, take the actions that you need to take uh, or have the courage that you need to have in order to take quite bold action and I see that here in these months of July August and September that you have the opportunity to be able to address that I'm going to ask again for another card because I just feel that here there are more cards needed 
And I'm going to go with this here. Yeah, I feel that if you actually are able to work through and overcome whatever blockages that you have that are stopping you from fulfilling your true potential and being the in, in your empowerment, being completely um, in in charge of yourself and in in your empowerment for yourself, I and as a result empowering others as well. I feel that if you are able to overcome that blockage, then you are, do have a new beginning and it's a prosperous new beginning. I also feel here that you could be working towards something and then you decide that and you, perhaps that's still in the background or that finishes and then you um, have this rearing to go energy, this wild energy. It's not wild in a, in a negative sense, but it's it's quite, it's untamed, let me say that rather. And you are able to channel that and as you're trying to channel that, you come across this blockage that you have here in those months. And you will need to overcome that in order to be able to begin anew. And as we go on to October, November and December, we have the Temperance card in reverse here. So when we have the Temperance card in reverse, what we're actually looking at is needing to be able to uh, ensure balance in one's life. Ensure balance that flows one piece of balance flowing to another piece of balance almost it needs to be seamless this balance you need to you not even notice that you are creating this and I feel that there's a little bit more work that's required to be able to create that balance so I feel I, as I read these cards I think the people who would have chosen these cards are quite dynamic individuals you have quite a lot of earth energy you have quite a lot of fire energy you are the empress you are the, the the one who's who has these different energies that are pulling you in different directions and you need to be able to bring it all together in some kind of synergy and that's what this year offers you it offers you the the different energies and it offers you the opportunity to bring it all together and as you come to the end of the year you are still working on how you bring all these different energies together and how you actually work with that energy while it's all together kind of swinging into balance you know um it's something that balance cannot be achieved just by in one minute it well it can in some ways but most of the time what it needs is it's like a swinging pendulum it needs to kind of take its course until it comes to a still and so i think that um you are going to be quite um I feel like as you come to the end of the year, you are going to be working with that, trying to work with your different energies and see where you need to apply it. I think in terms of your career, as I look at this, I feel like you are making great headway as you begin the year, January, February, March. And then there's a lot of power that you have here uh, in April, May and June. And then here you are, you have the ability to be able to create something and be very successful with it if you choose to be. And that's really up to you to do. Um, it's really up to, to you to actually take that action and to have the courage to be able to take that action. And I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these cards for one more card. And we have the Mother of Fire, which is basically the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so this card is telling me what you're dealing with, what you're working with. So this kind of energy that you have here, it's a more mature energy. So you have made progress through the year and you have actually uh, been able to channel this in some ways. But you are also dealing with the the backlash of what can be the the shadow aspects of the Mother of Fire card. I also think that this card is very much related to the Empress, okay, because what you're showing here, what, what this, these cards are showing is that you are striving to your temperance, you have this new beginning here, perhaps in your career, or perhaps in the way in which you approach your finances, and you are um, moving towards this balance, but you're finding difficulty with it, because I think that you are still healing and working with these blockages that you have as the Empress. So the Queen of Wands or the Mother of Fire, as it is in this card here, is somebody who can be quite impulsive. She could make decisions that are maybe to her detriment because she's quite passionate and she just wants to take action. It could be that uh, she's in a hurry to do things and so she's not doing it to the to the best of her ability. And so I think that you, the second half of the year is really about healing these aspects. And, you know, there's such a great deal of healing that can come through one's work as well as one's 
finances, if you look at how you approach your finances and how you approach your work, uh, it tells you so much about yourself. And this is exactly what this reading shows me, is that you are learning a lot about yourself this year through your finances, through your career and the choices that you make or the um, well, yeah, the choices that you make during this time. And I think that this continues and you are healing in the process. So I would say the advice for the end of the year is just to be more temperate in your behavior, more moderate in your behavior, um, to use this fire energy, uh, to be able to prolong it. You know, the mother of fire uh, reversed here is a card where the energy can sizzle out. You've lost it because you've used too much of it in a huge explosion. But it, what is required is for you to be able to keep this fire burning and be consistent with it and hold it. Hold, yeah, you need to hold it. And so this temperance is card in reverse is about that. It's about holding that fire. It's about managing all the different elements together and bringing it all together in harmony, not in a competition with each other. All right. So I think you have a great reading and you're going to be quite a lot of progress this year. And um, it feels like a year where, you know, you can make quite a lot of um, progress in terms of your your well-being, your mental well-being or your emotional well-being, your psychological well-being as well. All right. I wish you all a fabulous year ahead and many blessings for me to you. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, we are asking, what can we expect in terms of our financial well-being, in terms of our work and our career in 2023? So as we begin the year in January, February and March, we have the card of death. So it's the ending of something. It's the ending of a particular phase in your life. It might be the natural death of your career. Perhaps you've lost interest in what you're doing. Perhaps it doesn't motivate you uh, or excite you in the same way as it did previously. And so you have what is the ending of a particular way of doing things. Um, if it's with regard to your, your finances, I think perhaps you end the way in which you manage your finances or the way in which you appear. Um, your outlook to your finances. If it's with regard to your career, it feels like it could be with regard to your career for a lot of you. And it could be just that you've decided to resign or to end a particular job. Or maybe you've, maybe you haven't re resigned as yet, or maybe you're just thinking about it, but somehow the fire that you had in you, the, the, the motivation that you had in you has died and I think that January, February, March is very much about recognizing that and reinventing yourself in this time. I'm just going to ask for some more guidance for that card. Okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles here beside the death. And I think that what you're doing is that uh, January, February, March is a time where you are considering what you have and what you don't have and what you're able to um, save and how you're able to survive with what you have. Now, the, the context or the background to this is that you are perhaps planning to end something. Perhaps you're planning to finish up with a f certain job that you do or you're pl planning to stop doing something. You're planning to change careers maybe or change employers or maybe you decide to start working for yourself and you need to make sure that you have your finances in order here in order to be able to effect that change that you are keen on making there. All right. As we head into April, May and June, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. So I feel here that um, you might start to feel quite emotional about um, come April, May and June, you might start to feel quite emotional about the decisions that you need to make uh, or towards the, your your current situation. It might feel like you're making promises to yourself or to others which you aren't able to keep. Um, it might also be that you are um, kind of fighting for something or rushing towards something um, which doesn't actually exist which is just an idea. It's kind of pie in the sky or something like this. So be aware of that as you come to April, May and June, especially April, I would say. I'm just going to go in here and ask for some clarification. Uh, 
Um, so I'm not sure if that came out as part reversed or not. Okay, this is the card. All right, so in April, May and June, what I see is that there is quite a lot of um, emotion and your mental state is kind of feeding into that emotional state and vice versa. So it might feel that you have, um, in some ways, it might feel like a victory here in May, um, in May, June. It might feel like a victory. Maybe you finally ended this job or this career path that you were on. And here you are finally relieved from it because you don't need to worry about anyone backstabbing you. Um, and perhaps your emotions are just all over the place because of that, because you are somehow coming to terms with the fact that you're no longer an employee at that organization. I'm just giving you examples here. Obviously, it's not going to apply to every single one of you, but please look at how it will apply to you specifically. Um, I think here there is quite a lot of emotion because of action that has been taken, but you do need to be um, aware of the fact that you don't have anyone impacting your decisions right now. All of this is, it comes from you, okay? And you don't need to worry about anyone having control over your life or telling you what to do or, or backstabbing you. Or perhaps your boss has changed and you just have a different um, kind of uh, working atmosphere now. And that could also be the case. And as a result, you don't feel as structurally supported as you used to feel. And that could also let your emotions get out of hand a little bit in that you might um, indulge a little bit. You might become a bit slower at your work. You might uh, become a little bit, um, I don't want to use the word lazy, but a little bit more relaxed in terms of your work. And that could be the, also uh, the meaning of these cards here. And then as we move into July, August and September, we have the King of Swords and it's reversed. Now, I would say that here, it looks like it looks like here there is quite a lot of words that need to be spoken from you. And it's like you need to express yourself. And it might be that you are blocking yourself from expressing yourself. It's like you need to say something to somebody. It might be that you owe somebody lots of money and that you aren't able, you aren't able to talk to them and tell them that you owe them this money and and explain to them the situation and come to some kind of agreement with it. You are blocking yourself here in as we come to July because what's happening is that you aren't able to take the action or speak up in the way that you need to and this is not favoring you. This is somebody um, who is um, has a lot to say but won't say it. Instead, they will ghost you, okay? So this is the kind of energy that's uh, surrounding you at this time and I feel that it's because of fear uh, I also feel that it could be like these cards, the way they're lining up, it could be that you need to make some changes at the beginning of the year, which you don't make because you decide to cleave on to the you, whatever you are receiving as an income from that job. And it kind of you kind of start spiraling out of control. You stop caring what people think and whether they're going to hurt you or not. You might become quite emotional about it and then you aren't able to deal with it because you're so far down the line. So that's like quite a dark uh, reading of, of how this could play out. But um, I'm sure that your, your year is going to be a lot more positive in terms of um, these situations. And that only applies to somebody who's needing to leave their job because of their own admission that it isn't serving them and then they're unable to leave it, okay? And if they find themselves around July, August and September, then they are going to find themselves unhappy. And look what we have. We have the sun. Okay, so I think here that there is going to be a change, a shift come August and September that things are going to look different. Even the color are different here. You're not delving so much in your own emotions and um, you're not worrying so much here. You are able to move beyond whatever has been um, shackling you in your mind and to come out of that and to bring positivity, wealth, well-being in your life. It's I feel that July, August and September, you might be dealing with, at the beginning of it, you might be dealing with some kind of um, 
overriding uh, emotions or feelings or thoughts that just really seem to drag you down but it looks like you overcome it quite easily because the sun card take, comes out and it erases all of that it erases all the doubt it erases any of that darkness or dampness or inability to uh, speak you know when the K king of swords is um is reversed in this way it's almost like he's ice and so it, it melts that the sun melts that and as we go into um the end of the year as we go into October, November, and December, it looks like you have gotten over the worst in terms of your own mental anguish. It looks like you are somebody who could be having difficulties which are mostly in your mind. It seems to me that a lot of these problems are you having your mental anguish that you're not able to express to anyone else. So maybe you're quite alone, actually. Maybe you are somebody who's... Um, kind of alone and you're not really able to talk to people about how you feel and you find yourself you know making this breakthrough here which is really wonderful but at the same time not being able to find your way uh through through things because maybe you found yourself in, a, in quite a difficult situation it could this card could also be that you're kind of holding on to your funds or the salary that you have or the, the income that you have and not paying bulls with it as well that could also be a kind of element to this which would lead to these other things okay so what i see here is that as you come to the end of the year october november and december you are really beyond a lot of the things that have been shackling you you are beyond whatever has been bringing you down it's like you've gotten past that it's like there's this relief from that okay the, the advice is not to rest up and to just give yourself more time okay the 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 advice here is to actually you can rest for a bit but the, the advice here is to get going to get moving to to move ahead uh, because here it feels like there is some energy that's dragging you down that's slowing you down as well and that's not allowing you to make the progress that you need to make in terms of how you evolve your life in terms of your career and your financial well-being and the card that we have here the four of swords reversed talks about how it's perhaps not necessary to take another break perhaps it's necessary to take action as you go into the the next year and as you go into 2024 um i think here that some of the these cards show me that you are having some kind of struggle with yourself in this year with regard to these matters financial matters perhaps your career your job perhaps you have stress with your work perhaps there are people or you perceive that there are people talking about you behind your back um, and perhaps there is this um and i'm not gaslighting you okay so i'm there might be people talking about you behind your back but the way in which i'm reading this these cards show me that it's more in your mind it's more like your illusion an, an illusion for you that it's it's something that may maybe you've experienced in the past and so you kind of expect that it'll happen again and we have the three of wands in the reverse position and this is i'm just asking for cards which define your year and we have the king of cups so these two cards here the king of cups and the three of wands i think that here this tells me a, what we need to know for the year ahead there you have a perspective you have somewhere that you want to go to you have these goals that you've set out for yourself but you're unable to heave yourself out of some kind of mess that you are in in order to get to this place but you have good intentions to be able to follow that dream of yours okay and you do make a breakthrough as you come to july august september here there is a breakthrough and you will be able to achieve some of that but the year as we look at it it's you trying to get to this point okay and the king of cups here reverse this is uh, this maybe doesn't apply to all of you but you might be kind of thinking about somebody as opposed to thinking about yourself so you might use your energy to focus on somebody that 
is perhaps doesn't exist or perhaps somebody that you know but you don't have a relationship with them it's almost like you are daydreaming about them or fantasizing about them and your energy is going to that okay another way in which this card could be read is that you are not able to make the decisions that are firm enough uh, you're not able to take decisions which are, are sweeping and concrete that have consequences and so this this could be the what this is basically what what defines your year it's you needing to find the courage in yourself to be able to believe more in yourself and to understand that you need to take action towards where you need to go to and perhaps sometimes the action is so small or you feel that it's so small so little and you are taking the action but it doesn't it's not satisfying enough but i would say try to focus on this energy here try to uh, meditate upon the sun energy and see if you can actually um, try to erase all that mental stuff that's going on all these negative thoughts that you're having all this this difficulty that you're experiencing here because you don't need to do that you can you know use meditation and overcome that visualization perhaps and overcome that and Take a moment to be able to make, look at the decisions that you need to make in your life and don't look at the ones that you made in the past. You know, that's in the past. There's, you can't go back now and change that stuff. Okay, look ahead and look at how you can actually take decisions in the future, in the upcoming future, like for your year ahead and how they can be consequential, how they can be bold enough to make to affect the changes that need to be made in your life, okay? And try to not indulge in these, um, perhaps these mind games that you're playing with your, yourself. You might need a bit of help with that. It might help you to talk to somebody about it to, to overcome that. And I would recommend that you speak to a professional um, when it comes to that. All right. Okay, so I wish you all the best in your year ahead as far as your financial well-being is concerned. I don't think that you're going to have any difficulties with your finances. What I think you have is that you're going to have some difficulties about the way in which you think about yourself in terms of your career and your progress. That is where I feel this situation, this is what this is talking to me about. And I think that the way to overcome that is simply by changing your mind about it, by looking at it from a different perspective. And the way in which you can do that is by meditating upon the light here, upon the sun, because this is going to help you ease your, um, the heaviness around this, these feelings that you have, okay, about, uh, your career. And, um, uh, I want to say that this card, it can be that you almost feel like you need to end something that maybe it's not that you have any desire of ending something, but you feel like, oh, you know, you almost feel like I should end this because I'm just struggling so much. Okay. Uh, and that would be ending your work uh, or ending a contract or giving up on a dream. Uh, that could also be another meaning for that. Good luck with your year ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the number four, we are asking what can we expect in the year 2023 as far as your finances and your career is concerned. So as we go into the year, we have for January, February and March, we have the Ten of Swords, okay, in the reverse position. So it might be that you are coming out of a situation in which you feel that you have been done over by others in which you feel that you've been really downtrodden you feel really downtrodden and but you're coming out of that you 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 are moving away from that you are coming into a new beginning or into a state where you are able to to overcome that okay uh one other reading or meaning to for this card is that it could be that you're delaying your outcome or you're, you're delaying your your exit from these emotions but for some reason, you feel that you have gone through quite a lot in this in this previous time, and you um you you experience that as you enter the year. We have the Father of Pentacles uh, reversed. So, I feel here that for those of you you are you might be have made some choices which you are beating yourself up about here, or perhaps there's somebody who's stolen some money from you. Um, 
or has not paid you for something that you ha that has um, that you've done for them, and you find yourself in a situation where you are in charge of something, and you have to be accountable for that. I feel that um, there is a way to be able to pull yourself out of this, though, and to turn this around, okay? Whenever you see a card like this in the reverse, you can turn it around to be able to reflect what it is that uh, it it can reflect, the positive aspect of this. And in order to do that, what you'll need to do is overcome any emotion with regard to the actions that were taken in the past, either by you or by others, and to uh, focus on the positive aspects that you have and the strengths that you have and how you are able to manage things and control things and take care of things and take care of others in the process as well. Okay, you are the father of pentacles here, which is like the king of pentacles. And it is a, you are able to um, to turn this around. You have the, the faculty to be able to turn this around, to be able to... Uh, give yourself what you need in these months. And so here we have the Six of Wands, which shows me a victory. Okay, so you've overcome this completely. By the time you get to March, you've definitely overcome this. You have turned it around and you are successful. You are reaping the benefits of the King of Pentacles or the Father of Pentacles, as this deck calls it. In the way that you need to be reaping these benefits, there's a transformation that's occurred. There is, and the transformation will occur when you have this card here because you are moving on from it it's the end of that suit and you have you are experiencing this transformation and it is to your benefit okay so as we move into april may and june we have the mother of cups reversed so we have a, the card of um, the mother of cups which is basically the queen of cups reversed and what it talks about is you being quite emotional about something you're looking at something not with a grounded sense or not with a, a logical sense but rather from an emotional point of view you might feel quite sad about certain events or certain things that have occurred and it disappoints you and you feel really down about that so let's see what can be done about that in april may and june Right, so it seems here that as you come out of this situation and you've had this transformation, you've you have quite a busy few months in uh, January, February, March, and as you come to April, May, and June, you what you have here is these emotions that you need to rein in, and you need to be able to have the strength of the Mother of Cups, have the compassion of the Mother of Cups, have the leadership that she has, but be able to rein in those other emotions that will be leading you astray and there's a decision that needs to be made about it so as you come into that time um sometime in april may and june there will be a big decision that will need to be made as we move then on to on to july august and september we have the daughter of cups in the upright position and it shows me that the decision that you've made here has left you in a good uh, position so i see from what i've seen here you seem to be somebody who is able to go through difficulty but come out of it quite easily switch it around quite easily you're able to have the wisdom that will take you out of that situation and make the decisions that will take you out of anything that could be not serving you and you are able to attain victory with that and here we see the daughter of cups in the upright position and feels to me like you have you're growing a new passion you're nurturing a new passion it's almost like you're falling in love with something that is exciting you so, and it's almost like you timid you you don't want to jump into it but you are cautiously surveying it so it could be a new career that you're thinking of it could be a new job it could be a new financial proposal and it seems to me that it really excites you quite deep down it makes you feel it liberates you in some way it makes you feel like there are new possibilities and there's a new way to actually move ahead i'm just going to uh ask for another card here just because i asked for other cards in the in the other ones and we have here the emperor this timid kind of moving towards what it is that you desire and what excites you and what inspires you at this moment 
is by a certain action that you will take, which is the emperor card here. So you have the control over it. You have the, do the dominance in the situation. You are able to look at everything from an outside perspective and look at how it will affect everyone and make the right decisions for everyone concerned. And you are at the height of your of your leadership and your your financial acuity. I think this is a far cry from there and there. It shows me that you are a, a powerful person and that you are able to, as I said, spring back into your feet quite quickly here. And so July, August and September are going to be great months for you as far as that is concerned. Also, I would say the first half of the year because you're working on something, you're moving towards something and you are victorious. And April, May and June, well, there's this sense of um, having to make a decision here, but also being able to feel quite a lot. And as we move into October, November and December, we have the death card. So it looks like there might be the ending of something. It looks like you might decide to cut something off completely uh, and to renew a cycle in your life. So it might just simply be that you are coming to the end of a contract or you are coming to the end of a you know, something, perhaps you've had some money invested and it's, you, um, you've decided to then take that money out because it's come, it's matured and, but you had the death card, which shows me that something is ending and something else is beginning. Death always brings birth, you know, there's always the beginning of something new. We have the Empress reser um, reverse beside it. I just want to ask for one more card here. Okay, so are you going to have quite an energetic year, I can see. Very busy cards with the death, the emperor reversed, and the eight of wands. This energy that you're exhibiting here, this perfect balance of emotion and creativity and inspiration, balanced by the steady hand of the emperor, is then transformed later in the year to, to these cards here where there's a lot of action and movement. There's a need to be able to, to go with the flow with regard to that. And there's a need to be able to maintain your energy and your stamina to be able to continue with that and to go with the flow. There is the endings of something and the beginnings of something new. So I feel like you might not have been in such a big hurry here at the beginning of the year, but towards the end of the year, things get really busy for you and you are very very consumed by what needs to be done and I think that you need to take heed that you are making the right decisions for yourself and putting yourself first and taking care of your needs before you are giving up too much of yourself because you will be quite busy and quite consumed and you have the Empress card right beside that's reversed which shows me that you are not putting yourself first it shows me that you are perhaps so busy with what's going on perhaps you have these new opportunities that have come from all these wonderful cards here and and you are moving along and you are making progress and so you you kind of run yourself ragged in the process and so that is something to be aware of here okay so i think it's going to be a very good year for you there's a quite quite a lot of endings in your year and quite a lot of inspiration that comes after decisions that are being made a reigning in of emotions um, you have positive cards here which need to be ad adjusted so you, they, it requires growth from you and that's the best kind of year that you can have. A year where you are able to grow through your experiences and through your challenges that you have to be able to come out the other end and you can be you can see here that there are that you will be victorious you will, you will actually come out the other way good. you'll have what you need and you'll have more than what you need and you will be happy with what you have and proud of yourself in some way. I don't see you somebody who gushes over yourself and, and somebody who's kind of like patting yourself on the back all the time. I feel like you're quite reserved with regard to that. And I know it sounds like I'm reading to one particular person here, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just reading it as if I would because I feel like the attributes or the personality that, that's, uh, that this car, these set of cards uh, exude is very... It's a very definite type of person, a very, you know, it's, it's that particular set of attributes belong to that person. <laughs> and so that's why I'm reading it in that way. But um, the cards, the, I feel that there's all this transformation taking place. There's all this, there's this transformation here and here. And then, you know, here you have the emperor, there's the decisions that need to be made. And the, the 
the Father of Pentacles, the Mother of Cups, the uh, Emperor and the Empress in one reading. This is actually quite a powerful year for you. And uh, you just need to go with the flow, I think, and rein yourself in when need be and go crazy for the rest of the time. Uh, and try not to burn yourself out here with all that you'll have to do towards the end of the year. Okay, all right. I'm wishing you many, many blessings and much love and a great deal of success for 2023 and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the option number five, we're asking what can we expect in the year 2023 in terms of our finances and in terms of our career? Okay. So as we enter, uh, well, we have entered already, but as we go through January, February and March, you have the Nine of Cups reversed. And this is a card where usually it's a card where all your wishes come true. You can wish for anything and it will come true. It's the Yes card in the deck. And it's a card which is in reversed here. And it shows me that you are just so close to being able to create something for yourself that is exactly what you desire. It shows me that um, you might actually achieve that. You might do that, but it might come with a little bit of struggle. But the struggle is not something that is necessary. You can overcome that. You can use visualization techniques and perhaps meditation and bring what it is that you desire closer to you. So I see that January, February and March being quite a positive time for you, generally speaking. And I don't see you having necessarily changes or um, or difficult or any kind of difficulty. But what, what could actually happen is that with this desire that you have, which is uh, comes to fruition because it's a yes card, um, it might bring about change, which you um, perhaps are expecting because it doesn't show up as if you are concerned about that. Okay, so as we move into April, May and June, we have the Knave of Batons. Okay, so the Knave of Batons would be known as the Page of Wands in other decks. And I feel that as you go into April, May and June, you have a lot of energy and a lot of drive to be able to move ahead with something. You might decide to begin a new venture or you might be at the early stages of beginning a new venture and you are quite uh, you're moving along quite happily. Things are in control. You are managing it quite well. It might be something that you're not you're not familiar with, uh, or you might not have as much information as you need. But that's a process that you will gain the information as you go along. But I see that it's moving along. The things to be concerned about in April, May, and June is that you sh need to be concerned about how you use your energy whether you're being wasteful with your energy, whether you're using too much of your energy in one particular sector and not in other sectors. Perhaps you are neglecting some other sectors. And so that is an important um, thing to be aware of in April, um, May and June. I do see, however, that you will be making this progress in your life and it will be positive. And then as we come to July, August and September, we have the Fool. The Fool is reversed as well. Now, what I would say, you need to rein yourself back because maybe you're being too reckless with something. But I feel in this case, what it is, is that it might be the delayed start of something. Like there's this new beginning that needs to take place, but it's a bit delayed. Okay, I'm just going to ask for a clarification here. You have the King of Cups, okay? So I do feel here that perhaps you are working through in July, August and September, you're working with your emotions and your skills as a leader um, and somebody who's in control of a particular project or you are working with a whole range of emotions to be able to manage that. And um, yes, there might be a delayed start, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, you just need to be, you have the exact card that is stable, measured, um, and emotional. Okay. And so you can actually manage the emotions that you might have here, which are a bit unruly with the fool. And you can do the same here. You have the, what you need in these months to be able to uh, overcome whatever recklessness or, um, it's like a firecracker gone astray, a rogue uh, firecracker here. Um, and so you have that and you have the, the yes card here. So you are actually having quite a good year, I would say, until now. So let's see what October, 
Okay, October, November, and December, we have the Judgment card in reverse. So it feels very much like this Fool, fool card, which is in reverse. It echoes uh, the same, not just because of the colors being similar, but that's just because they're major arcana. But uh, I feel here that there might be some emotions or something, some decisions that need to be made, or some ending that needs to take place, which you're struggling to bring to an end. And we have the five of coins here, which is reversed as well. So it's almost like perhaps you want to make a decision with regard to setting up a new business, but you're afraid of whether you will be successful in this business or not. Because um, I don't feel that you've made this decision as yet. Or maybe you've started. Maybe that's what you were starting with. Maybe you're wishing here to begin this new business and you've started here and things are not going as smoothly as you expected it to. It's going well. But it's not as smooth. And that's just because you're at the beginning stages, okay? It's nothing more. And then here you expect this new beginning to be perhaps more fruitful, more prosperous. And you come to the end of the year thinking, well, it's not really been like that. And what have I been doing wrong? And so it could be that, okay? But I don't see you doing anything wrong here. I just see that perhaps you need to make a decision that needs to be quite um, a measured and bold decision at the same time. So I just want to ask for one more card here. So we have the Five of Swords and we have it upright. And I think here it's um, perhaps there's some kind of competitiveness that you've engaged in uh, or some kind of, there's some kind of jealousy almost that could come up, uh, could rear its ugly head here when you, when you are having these thoughts about yourself. So I think the, the clue here is to stay as positive as you can and not allow yourself to be dragged down by any of these negative emotions because ultimately as we see here things are going well you've got the best card that you could have in the deck here the first three months of the year and you have uh you are ma making headway in your in your you've made excellent headway so it's the end of the year and maybe you wished that you could have moved a bit faster and maybe it's something that you are you are upset with yourself about um, and maybe you are needing to um, to to maybe you feel like you need to take better care of yourself financially or you need to you're not going to take care of yourself or you if you take a particular decision that you need to take here and um, and then you, there's a kind of feeling of um, unhappiness or I don't want to say, well, it's not usually a resentment, but it could be a resentment that you're experiencing here as a result of that. Now, I've asked for these two cards to tell me what the whole year is going to be like. And what we have are the Three of Cups reversed and we have the Knight of Coins. So I think that what defines your year, your year is that you are sacrificing social relations <laughs> to some extent or you are taking advantage of particular social relations to be able to embark upon a project which is a long-term project and you are in it for the long term and you are moving ahead with that and you are uh, just basically plowing away at that and I think here that is your wish yeah your wish is to go ahead with this and here you have this this knave here which is you know has begun the work that you actually need and um you and you have the fool which is you know you kind of begun the work but you don't feel like it's a real beginning it's not a satisfying beginning for you and this is why the fool is here in the reversed or you could be it could be kind of unruly you could be making some decisions which are but you know not as measured not as productive uh, it's not as efficient as it needs to be and you have here as you come to the end of the year this kind of frustration with yourself almost about what is actually going on but i think you don't need to be because you have made um kind of a success about this i think that you know perhaps look into a reading uh, a bit later in the year like six months down the line and perhaps things have changed here because perhaps you know if you are able to resolve in a way that is uh, you re you know just the proper way to do it and I would say the way to do it would be to get in touch with exactly how you feel and then look at how your actions or the, the behavior that you have in response to how you feel is playing out and whether and how it impacts other people. That's what I would say that you need to do here. And and I feel like if you do that and you are able to change your behavior accordingly, 
then you won't be so judgmental about yourself. You won't be so angry with others or resentful towards others. And you won't have this feeling of lack, um, which I think is not a real feeling because it's in the reversed. Okay. And so the reversed, the reverse here is that you actually are fine. You don't have this, you, you are okay financially, but you think that you are in lack. Okay. So maybe you haven't met your goals, uh, your financial goals that you want, you set out for yourself at the beginning of this year. But um, you do find yourself in a situation where you're fine and you have more. Anyhow, anyway, there is prosperity here. These are quite positive cards that we have here. The Three of Cups and the King of Cups and the Knight of Coins. You know, the Knight of Coins is somebody who's really careful about things. And I can see how you could be so careful that you're not able to make a decision here. Um, and then you, you kind of hurting, you know, you're kicking yourself for not making a decision. So I think that a little bit more courage here will allow you to be able to make the decisions here that you need to in th these, in the rest of the year. And I would say that you could ask for some help with that. Ask somebody to help you. Ask somebody who knows about this stuff, uh, whatever you, it is that you are busy with, uh, to, to advise you and to keep an eye on you and to help you out if you're making uh, the wrong decisions or you're doing something that's going to be detrimental to your well-being. And that will take away the worry aspect of this. And then you'll be able to move more freely. And if you take away the worry, what's going to happen is that you feel free to just enjoy what you're doing. And once you do that, you kind of, it comes naturally, you know, you, you kind of, these cards all become positive, basically, if you've managed to uh, achieve that. And if that was the case, which is what we want, we want these cards to be in the positive, then I think that you will be able to make a decision here, um, which will, it'll kind of take this away, basically. Um, and it, this will fall away as well. And you have really positive cards. So I think it's just a matter of perspective here and just being a little bit disciplined um, with yourself and perhaps just asking for the right kind of assistance that you need. I think that plays a bigger role here for you because I don't think it's like a huge amount of mental work that you need to do with yourself, like, you know, to kind of work on yourself and be more disciplined or anything like that. I don't think any of that applies to you here. What I think here is that you are actually needing to uh, simply have the courage to take the actions. And if you didn't worry so much, then you will be able to do that. Now, if you aren't making any decisions and if you aren't um, actually um, trying to, if that doesn't resonate with you, I would say that this year is really about you being clear with yourself at the beginning of this year about what it is that you want to achieve. So that, and, and put, put that down quite clearly write down somewhere so that when you come towards the end of the year you can review that and see how far you've come and um be forgiving towards yourself uh in your judgment of yourself okay so i'm gonna leave it there i hope that it was a useful reading and i wish you all a very blessed 2023 blessings about from kismet rising